Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the very basics of uh, writing a multi-threading application. Um, a user on my forums requested this, so I just decided to make a video for him. And uh, I'm just going to make a very simple version of this. It can be used uh, to basically separate tasks so that multiple tasks can be running at once, and it helps increase performance, and it's just a general good practice if you plan on writing complicated applications. So the first thing we're going to be adding is using system.threading. This will uh, allow us to use all the uh, methods and calls that we need. So all the work um, of uh, that we're going to be using for the threads is contained in this thread work class. So I'm just going to create an instance of that class. And then let's go ahead and create our first thread. thread first thread equals new thread and we do new thread start and then our target is a method and we're going to be using a method in the thread work so thread work and I forgot to make this public and I'll explain these methods a little bit later Because if I'm if they're private and not public, then I can't call them from the program class. First count method and thread second thread equals new thread. And the reason I'm making two two threads will be evident later. Okay, and then once you have a method uh, specified in your thread, uh, you just call it first thread dot start, and then second thread dot start. All right, now on to explain what I have here. Uh, this is just a simple for loop that will uh, write out a line. This is the, uh, and I put bracket zero bracket, and it will basically print out whatever i is. It's just another way to of formatting strings. Uh, time I'm printing this from thread number one. It's very important. And then I'm basically pausing it for a bit. Uh, that's not another thing you can use with threads. Thread dot sleep. And then um, I'm doing it the same thing basically, but I have thread number two. And this should build. And then I should probably just add a console.readline just so it doesn't automatically close. I'm not really sure what will happen, but so if this works correctly, then you should see both of these messages showing up. Otherwise, only one only one message would show up if we only had one thread. See? 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 just proves that there are two threads running at the same time that are doing the same thing. Otherwise, you'd only be able to go through this and then you'd go through this, but with multi-threading you can go through both of them at the same time. And that's the uh, basic use of multi-threading. If you'd like to know any more tutorials in Visual Studio C Sharp 2008, uh, make sure to leave a comment on my videos, make sure to subscribe to my videos, and head over to my website and my forums which are in the description. I also have a bunch more tutorials on my website and in my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.